NLDS Game 1 2015 Mets and Dodgers. DeGrom had the long locks. He was dominant. Outdueled Clayton Kershaw, seven innings, no runs, five hits, a walk, 13 strikeouts. All right, time now for the walk-off. Jim, what did Jacob DeGrom show you that night and then again in Game 5 of that series? So I, I think what you got, uh, Doug, the point of bringing in both those games for me was just as important as his dominance in game one. When you're faced on off against Clayton Kershaw in a pressure, pressure situation, uh, you never know how that's going to go. So he dominated that night. But then we need to come back like he did the next time around and make adjustments. They had just seen him, uh, you know, four days earlier. Uh, so for him to be able to still uh, pitch as dominant as he did, that was the, I think, the level that we, you know, have seen out of, uh, of Jacob DeGrom here, you know, lately. We started to see it that night. And he's been able to build on it since. Yeah, you know, th those those two starts were uh, amazing, obviously, and, and I think we're, we saw at that point a pitcher in ascension uh, on his way to becoming what he has become now. You know, he was the rookie of the year when he first came up, and, and you know, rookie of the year is one of those things where you think, like, well, the guy's a good player, but some of them fizzle after that, and he obviously has not and, and has just gone forward, and, you know, you love the fact that he seized the moment in the playoffs, and you knew that that was not going to be an issue with this guy. You know, the fishbowl, New York, the postseason, everything, and he's just taken off since then. Let's keep in mind also who he's facing Kershaw. He was really at the height of dominance then. He struck out 11 that night as well. But when Murphy took Kershaw deep and they had the one nothing lead, okay, what's DeGrom going to do? Is he going to be able to hold it? Is he going to keep striking out guys? And that's exactly what he did. And it was Kershaw who was the one who walked the bases loaded. Baez comes in, Wright gets the big hit, and then all of a sudden the Mets are winning this game. And DeGrom, instead of looking at Clayton Kershaw that night, you're looking at DeGrom as the one who truly dominated. Here's how great DeGrom is. There are basically two types of DeGrom starts. The dominant dominant ones where he strikes out 15 guys and doesn't give up any runs or the ones where he doesn't have his best stuff like game five and still works out six innings two runs keeps his team in the game he's been dominant really ever since then guys